Churchill, take one, clap us on the end. Right, sir. Foreign policy and vigorous waging of war. See, all this requires a strong majority. Now, some people go about saying, oh, well, uh, while ahead, to get that plan, which has all been worked out in detail, to get that through and get it into working order. But what happens if our socialist friends come down and uh, draw across the whole of this enormous uh, plan of progress a lot of uh, theories, uh, theories about uh, uh, um, total socialism and uh, far off dreams and uh, utopias which they love to, they love to uh, create. Therefore, there will be a large demobilization of the armies in Germany. And uh, we have to bring those men home. And we have to make sure that they have work, jobs to do. And we have to be sure, as much as possible, they have jobs. I'll do my very utmost. And me Whatever he is, he is a good ju uh, ju uh, judge of. He's not a particularly good judge of uh, when to vote for a vote of censure. <laughs> so, now, you, you, you uh, have a, a, a candidate um, in Colonel uh, Lakin. <laughs>
with you most sincerely. Uh, may God bless you all. That's all, Harry. That's all, Harry. Mike's down. the present reception you have given to me. I'm sorry that I am uh, late, but it was only because everywhere else we saw very large enthusiastic crowds. Now... the state and all the power of the 
of the, of the building trade, uh, large and small, together, and uh, in, in uh, the shortest possible time, uh, we shall see uh, a great mitigation of the difficulties which we shall undoubtedly have to pass through. In this <laughs>